teleschool.com learn tele for free hi i am rishit sha from teleschool.com today we are going to learn a feature that has been introduced in tele erp9 that is bank reconciliation bank reconciliation is a major part of tedious work when you are doing audit or you are accounting for a business there is too many entries now today we are going to learn bank reconciliation in tally manually let me tell you that there are two approaches to bank reconciliation in tally one is manual and the second is automatic i love automatic but in order but in order to understand automatic first we'll need to understand manual and you'll understand automatic automatically yeah i can assure you that so let's get to the manual approach for manual approach i have already passed two entries regarding bank we can see in in vouchers or ledgers okay so the shortcut to see the ledgers display ledgers is d a l consecutively from the gateway of tally so that it's d a l okay so we are here at a list of ledgers let me scroll down to state bank of india i will select state bank of india and there are two entries currently passed okay let me go in and show you in detail it is bank charges that is deducted by bank and the second is payment to inb avenues it's a payment to a creditor of 1000 rupees through check okay so these are the two payments now i need to reconcile uh, reconcile these entries suppose let's say the accounting you have done for these two entries is 19 2014 as you can see in the date column and let's assume that in bank statement that you got from your bank here is the case state bank of india the date for the bank charges will be the same but for the date of inb avenues creditor date is 2 9 so in simple words you have debited in your books of account sorry credited in your books of account inb avenues on 1 9 while bank has debited from your bank account on 2 9 this can happen if you have given a check so you have given a check on 1 9 you have accounted the entry and now he has deposited the check in his account that is inb avenues savings or current account on 2 9 therefore there is a difference and that's what we are going to reconcile today and that is what it is called bank reconciliation so for reconciliation come back to the gateway of tally straight away okay now the shortcut is nb consecutively but let's go simply scroll down to utilities and in there select banking uh, here are some options select bank reconciliation okay and select bank in our case it is state bank of india so you can clearly see it is the reconciliation screen that you can see in front of you right now and it is bank charges and instrument date bank date and now let me tell you that what are these two dates instrument date is the date that you have entered in your accounts and bank date is the date that's that's recorded in the bank statement by the bank simple so in bank charges the instrument date is same as the bank date because bank charges are deducted at a time and you do not have to do anything in it bank deducts and there is no dif- no cause of any difference so we can leave it blank or we can simply enter 19 2014 yeah now here is the inb avenues so here you have given a check you can see it in the transaction type now the instrument date the date on which you credited or say you accounted the entry in your accounts is 19 2014 but in bank statement it is 29 2014 so we will write 
here 2-9-2014 done yeah now the accounts are reconciled and you have to accept it press enter done yeah this is as simple as it looks bank reconciliation has been done this was the manual approach i hope you learned something new from it and if you already knew thanks for watching the video see you soon guys thank you please like us on facebook that is facebook.com slash tally school you can also subscribe the tally school's youtube channel that is youtube.com slash tally school and you can also give a plus a positive sign of truth or a positive sign of words to us that is tally school google.com slash plus tally school now if you are more serious and if you want every tip trick technique in tally some of which are not shared ever on the blog and will be shared directly in the newsletter here is it you can join tally schools you newsletter it's free to join simply go to the website tallyschool.com and join the newsletter okay and lastly don't forget to hit the big subscribe button down there on the youtube for video updates directly to your inbox hit the big subscribe button now